Hello YouTube, Chrome Freak here. I'm at KNW Gunworks slash Southern Yankee Guns with Dave. Semper Fi, motherfuckers. <laughs> and Brandon. What's up guys, I won't curse. No. We're gonna um, take a look at these. What are we looking at, Dave? These are the DB 9mm, Diamondback 9s. Uh, a little bit bigger than their 380 counterparts with no issues whatsoever from what we understand from our customers. Brandon's gonna go into a couple of the issues that the 380s have had in the past. And we'll go from there. I'm gonna do a breakdown. Give you an idea. This is this is a Droid X, pretty pretty big cell phone. Kind of give you an idea of how Size big they are. These are you know the DB9s have been out for a few probably four or five months now. We have plenty in stock. Um, going back to the DB380, okay? People people are, are speculative on the DB9 because of the 380. Now We've had some experience, bad experience with the DB380s. Spoke with the owner of Diamondback and all their customer service pe uh, people there. Uh, it had a, a, a weak uh, primer strike on the firearm. There were some ejection problems, some feedability problems. However, uh, Diamondback has worked diligently on fixing this, these issues and they've improved the firearm and the DB9. We have a lot of law enforcement that are actually buying these as backups. I'm getting great uh, range reports back from them, and uh, there's a lot of other YouTubers out there uh, that are pretty pretty darn happy with the firearm. Um, the DB9, they have really improved the gun. It's a very concealable micro nine millimeter, you know, almost like a 380 type size gun. So they've really jumped in this market strong. Now you see a lot of other followers. You know, actually the the Car PM9, obviously that's a uh, beautiful firearm, mm -hmm. um, but but size-wise, I got the the Gerber 06 automatic out here. Um, love this blade, carry it every day almost. That gives you an idea of size to this firearm. You can put it put it right in your pocket, carry it exterior, interior, uh, wherever you wanna wanna carry it. Dave's right. trying to take this apart. Yeah, it's gonna damage it because it's a brand new gun. Yeah, he's trying not to scratch it. But we're, what we're doing is also showing you a breakdown of it and how simple it is. And guys, Dave, show your little, everyone always asks about this tape. See the tape around his fingers? He's got rings he puts on his fingers for arthritis. See these right here? It's not just his uh, trademark. And actually it is his trademark, but we, so we, make, we make him put tape around his fingers so he doesn't scratch the guns up. scratch them, yeah. And he changes the colors every day. I think he was wearing pink the other day, huh, Dave? <laughs> he likes pink. Yeah, and his arthritis in his hands does not keep All right, him from well, working, let's, as we'll let Dave see. take over. Okay, six plus one in the chambers, seven shot. Compact. That's a lot of firepower for a, lot a pocket firepower pistol. A lot of firepower for a pocket pistol, nine millimeter, millimeter yeah. exactly. If you look at this gun, I'm actually going to take apart a Glock real quick to show people how similar it is to a Glock. Sorry, the noise in the background. You guys know where we are. Yeah. Yes, there's a working Glock 19, shop. Old Faithful. Oh, Old yeah, that, Dave. Yeah, about 20 years. He carries these every day. Look at that. Yeah, see the difference. Look how similar it is. But look, also look at the, the similarities in them. Look at all the dirt in there. <laughs> She's a nasty. I mean, there's right. there's rumors out there that uh, Diamondback had a buddy that worked for Glock. I don't know if this is true or not. Came over, helped him uh, engineer some firearms. I don't know if there's any validity in that or not. Uh, Diamondback actually has made airboats for quite some time now, and they jumped into the firearm market with the DB380. And now they stepped into the nine millimeter market. So very, very similar to a Glock. We all love very, Glocks here. Very so, similar. all right, and we're gonna reassemble it. Watch how easy this is, guys. Dude, just like a Glock, it's just as simple. Barrel in, spring. This is actually very strong spring. So just watch your eyes, watch your fingers. Boom. They have such right a strong spring, and that's that's probably to do with the feeding issues they were having. See you later. There she is. Beautiful. Yeah. Great job, Dave. Okay, that's one. Watch out quickly. Do the lock. Over there. Pan back a little bit. Stand by to some there. customers as they leave. A lot of people, it's pretty cool here in our shop. Um, it's more like a hangout atmosphere. It you is. Know, people come, the guy actually just got just jumped on a Charlie. Uh, people just come here and just hang out. Yeah, on first name basis with everybody. It's all, it's great. A lot of police officers here. It's a lot almost of like. Uh, uh, old school like barbershop, right? Exactly. That's exactly what I compared. I think you it to. compared that. Yeah, I did. Ago, it right? sure is. It's that uh, type of atmosphere. Oh, Dave! Look, he's just beating the gun. Dave. <laughs> Beat him up, Dave. 
All right, quick, he's back in action. Real quick, let's do this. This will be fun real quick to end the video. Firearm right let's, there. You ain't got to show you ain't got to show um, everything, but real quick, let's do let's do an EDC check real quick. What do you got on you? Uh, Brandon. EDC, my uh, faithful 06 automatic. Uh huh. Casio CPAT finder as barometer or compass. I actually wear this at fire rescue. It's a great, I mean, you can't, you, I don't know, they're like maybe 150 bucks. Compass, everything. But I wear this at fire rescue, That's beat the nice hell watch. out of it. You know, firefighter, paramedic, fires, car accident, jaws of life, whatever. This thing gets abused. I got um, my uh, survival bracelet. We sell them in the shop. I need to grab one. This yeah. one's kind of cool. Um, a guy at, the, at fire rescue um, made these black with the red stripe mm -hmm. signifying firefighters that's and then cool. a black blue for police officers uh that's SWAT and all that. so i don't know that might catch on around the country actually kind of that's pretty cool yeah i've i've been carrying this for a while i i you know i like it smith and wesson m p 9c uh compact 9 12 plus run magazine capacity ambi safety i got um some trigicon some nice sights on there I, you know what? I love this gun. It's got a nice rail on it. I've been actually carrying it for quite some time, and no problem. Uh, yeah, I'm loving it. This holster right here. I don't know if you could get this. We're gonna get these in. We yeah. met a guy, um, actually a firefighter down in Miami Dade, Miami Dade Fire Rescue. It's called a uh, Rhino holster, and how it works is this. It's a it's a Kydex, and it loops over your belt like that. And let me take it out here so you guys can see it. It's actually a great idea. It is. Made form fitting to your firearm. Uh, nice and compact. You can wear it exterior. I like to wear actually my firearm on the outside and I cover it up with a shirt. What this does is this loops, this hooks on the inside of your pants. Okay, right here. Mm -hmm. There's your clip. And as you put it in, put your firearm in obviously, this snap will actually go over your belt. I tested them out. We're going to carry them in the shop. Price point is amazing, actually. Very sturdy. I've tested this one out. I'm really liking it. They're like, uh, I don't know, like the low 20s, mid 20s. Wow. That's and a good I really price like for them. A holster. So you get them made specifically. So especially for a form fitted holster for a certain firearm. Like yeah, for this, this for this M and P that I'm carrying today. Um, really want to say it's safety checked, but it's hot. Yeah, exactly. Hey, I, took, yeah, I took know. it off myself, guys. This so. is just a quick EDC I threw at them. They didn't even know it was coming. So Wait, what else do I have? <laughs> this, this, <laughs> this, right, this, this right here lets you in the gun shop. <laughs> Listen, click, that lets you in the door. Droid X, what else do we have in here? Hold on, Mike. I don't know what I have. I'm not, probably not being a very good uh, photographer here. but Gum. Oh, look at this. Oh, don't, yeah. don't ever start, this, no don't ever start this habit, guys. Uh-oh. Well, I got something even worse than yeah. that in my pocket, so. That's and I've got. had a couple of hard. I got my KNW Gomer shirt. Yeah, he sure does. KNW. See the back? It's kind of cool. You like our slogan? The, oh, the slogan's great. Smoking Everybody it. loves that. Oh, yeah. Smoking them if you got them, baby. That's cool. All right, Dave. Let's hit you up, man. What you got, bro? My oh, daily carry? Yeah. 1917 Colt 45. Oh, how sweet. Look at that, guys. He carries that seriously you saw this every in our freaking, day. Uh, revolver video. Yeah, man. My everyday carry. I've got a piece of shit. Oh, nice. Garbage knife. Garbage, Garbage knife. <laughs> my letter opener. It's like a fake. Um, it's this thing's. It's interesting. We they we actually had, were good. We had these a while ago. They don't mm -hmm. keep a blade at all. They um, they knocked off the uh, Microtech. I think it's a scarab. It's got a glass break. Uh, I tried that at fire rescue. It didn't work out so well. I was beating on a hood. <laughs> but actually, the action in it for a cheap knife. Yes, I but agree. It's a throwdown. Yeah. It used to be black. <laughs> Sorry, and My dude. surprise shocker is a K-Bar TDI. Oh, there, that's very nice. Yes. Guys, that knife concealability-wise, Dave, where's that sheath on you? Look at that. Check out that sheath. It's, it's, what, yeah. what a great, the K-Bar TDI, it's very small. Very nice. Very compactable, great knife. Uh, you can wear it like a firearm. Block 19. <laughs> That's it? Oh, keep going, Dave. Block 19. What else? <laughs> this is great. Car oh my God, people, this is no, this is no, this is not made this up. This is really what he does carry on. Every day. <laughs> right, so we, got a, we got a Beretta, we got a little uh, Tomcat 32, we got a car P380, we got a car PM9, we got a Glock 19, we got a Glock 19 with the Crimson, 
And we got the old faithful Colt with the moon clips. Look at that. And we got two and all blades. I have is my little crappy M and P. Sorry, well, pointed don't it that feel way. so bad. I don't get got... crazy. I pointed it that way. There we go. We're yeah. it away. That, that's amazing, don't, Dave. Don't I'm, I'm shocked. The, the way he dresses, you cannot tell he's even got one he's firearm. He's got ballast all less. over his shirt. <laughs> he uses a deodorant. He likes that smell. It's hot down here, guys. All right, real oh, quick. Be... My cell phone. Go How ahead. Hot is it here, you get me. It must be like 90 some degrees today. <laughs> yeah. Where are you? iPhone. iPhone? Recon one. Oh yeah. Ah, dirty too, huh? Well, you know what? This is what I say, guys. <laughs> if you're going to get a blade, make it good and use it. Spend the money. Get a good blade. Guys, also, you know, any type of knives, look around. You know, pricing wise. Go, you know, Amazon. I'm, I mean, look, I own a retail store, but. You know, check out Amazon. I That's mean, honesty right there. You can't get. What, I mean, you can call me too. I mean, cold steel, whatever, whatever, any type of knife we carry. But I'm, um, uh, you know, you got to research and try to find the best price. Owning and, a store, I have no problem with that. I'll discount it the best I can. If, and if you're we, not going to take somebody's money if if you know love that this the, the knife is not in stock and they're not going to be able yeah. to get it. You're not going to take their money. And if say, you guys ever have any questions, money. you can call. You know, call us at the shop. PM me or Mike. Um, we're always happy to, you know, any questions or pricing stuff, just PM yeah. us, whatever. Yep. Uh, I've got the Glock 27. It's hot. I'm not going to even take it off. Um, Let's see here. What kind of holster you got? Oh, that's yeah. That's a Cobra. That's a great, these holsters. The holster you sell right here. It's leather and Kydex. It's Love a very nice holster. This is the other holster um, I was using for my M&P. Yeah. And that's it. I, I don't have anything else on me. Sunglasses? Oh, my sunglasses. What kind my... of shirt you got on? Uh, Southern Yankee. He's got a fruity orange Southern Yankee. <laughs> I do have fruit a little bit. Guns, a can of Gunworks. What's that? I got oh, these two. Oh, shame things. on yeah, you. I know. I know. Shame on it's you. It's a love hate relationship. Man. <laughs> I have two heart attacks. And My keys. What do you got? Nitro in there? Oh, I found this. A bag of money? Look at that. I, I bring Look at that. She's a baller. In fact, our anniversary was the other, the other day. It's 24 happy, years. Happy belated anniversary. Yeah. Um, I always bring her a shell I find on the ground. It's an ugly little one, but I bring her a shell a week. That's very, <laughs> that's very nice of you, Mike. Just a little thing. And I got a thing. I find dimes everywhere. These are all the dimes I found this week. You're a dime, dime man. It's, I find dimes. It's a whole story behind that. I, I'll tell you about it one time. But this is this week's dimes I found this week. There's a couple pennies in there, but... I'll carry them with me all week, all the ones I find. What else That's you got today? Lie. That's it. So, um, <laughs> balding head. Um, I don't know. You want to see the shop? What's up? I don't like watches because I break watches. Let's show you the. You want to show? I don't want to know what time it is. You want to show them the shop? Yeah, sure. Go for it. Absolutely. Show you guys the shop. Some stuff. Like there's one one wall. There's like a real long wall. That one goes down. There's one on the other side. Accessories, some more firearms. There's a knife case. I don't know. Three eight. We, what we do in the shop is we have um, smaller calibers to larger calibers. So, twenty two thirty two, all that good stuff. Twenty five over there. Three eighties. This case is all nines. Nine millimeters, mostly new. We buy used too. So, if you guys ever want to sell firearms, we'll buy them from you. Nines. So the place is down your 357, 327, 38s. There's the rev, he's talking to a customer. Excuse me, gentlemen. I was I was in New Forties. Some suppressors. Forty-five case. Top row. Love forty fives. I think I hear my dad snoring back there. Takes his afternoon nap. So, a lot of 45s, 44s, Alaskans, 454, 45, governors, judges, whatever. Guns, FNs, gotta love that. Is my dad sleeping? Look, there he is, sleeping. So, anyway, I don't know, I'm just babbling. Accessories on this wall, holsters, all that stuff, gun cases, safes. There's a safe room in the back. So, anything else, Mikey? I'm gonna grab it. Oh, he's gonna grab a survivor bracelet. Yeah, looks good. Okay, I'm gonna hand, hand the camera back to Mr. Chrome Freak. Hopefully hey guys, I'll thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, Wait a minute. Oh. Uh -oh. 
Here comes the rev. We had two solos, now we have one. Oh, that's good news, that quickly. Just sold. And that one's sold too, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, uh, I think Brandon already gave you a quick peek around, but we'll see you later. Y'all take care. <laughs> Bye.